Well, welcome back. It feels like we just saw you. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good. Feeling good. It's uh, good to be back. Have a busy year. You like that? You like coming um, back to back to back to back? Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's been good. Uh, I wanted to have a busy year this year, um, get as many fights as I can. So it's been good. Been good to keep it uh, very familiar, very familiar feeling coming back to fight week, getting more in tune with the body um, and just growing and excelling. Go, going back to back camps, we'll, we'll do that. You, you're just you're going to get better you're going to get more more in tune with your body the way it feels the fight week um so yeah it's, it's, it's been a good year what did you learn in your last fight that you are going to take into this fight any adjustments or anything that you learned from that last fight yeah um it was good to get that fight experience <clears throat> last that last fight against a veteran like, like mcdessey so um Getting my time in, taking my time, uh, learning when to pull the trigger, uh, different things like that. When you're in there with a guy like that that's been around for so long and had so many high-level fights, you're, you're going to learn those uh, those little things and, um, yeah, just, just, just tweaking a few things like that. And after fighting John, he fought Nasrat recently. Did you pay close attention to that fight in particular um, to kind of see based off the fact that you had just fought John or do you kind of just look at um, Nasrat's whole library? Yeah, I, I look at his whole, uh, everything, everything that he's been doing. Um, there's different fights that I've been taking and uh, we're, we're watching it all and, and taking, our, uh, taking parts from it that we, that we see and that we think that we can do and, and work well to our advantage. What do you think of him as an opponent? He's solid, solid opponent. Um, fights with a high tempo, uh, good skill. I don't see as much of a danger factor with him, but everyone's dangerous. So I've got to be aware. I've got to be aware of that. But um, very skillful fighter. Do you see this being another three-round war for you, or do you think you'll be able to get in and out of there pretty quick? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I want to. I want to finish him. I want to get this uh, done in one, if possible. And last question for me: Is there any disappointment that the fight's not in China with fans, or are you happy to be here in Vegas? I'm happy to be here in Vegas, but uh, I was I was looking forward to going uh, to China and going somewhere different. Um, but it's all the same. It's just it's just business. I was just uh, glad that the fight was still going ahead. Thank you. Do you see similarities in his style as opposed to, you know, your recent fight with McDessie, do you, do both of them kind of brawling styles? Do you, do you see similarities, and is there anything from what you employed in that fight that you think will carry over and work in this one as well? Um, they're quite different in the sense of even the stance that they hold. So it's, it's been a, a different um, approach. Um, I wouldn't say he's a brawler either. I'd say he's a technical brawler. He's uh he he doesn't just stand there in front of you. He's got good movement. Um, so there there's different things to take away. I, I think he fights a little bit differently, and um, it's been a good uh a good camp adjusting to that style. So uh, yeah. Do you bring anybody particularly in the camp to sort of mimic his style, or just guys in general that you normally work with? Um, most of the guys were were guys that I work with already. I, I was lucky enough to have some good Southpaw bodies. Um. We brought a few different people from around, like, like every camp, man. Um, in Australia, we don't have as many bodies, as many members, but the, the quality's there, just not as, not as uh, many people. So um, I, I, was, I was getting bodies in from different places and then going down and uh, doing a lot of my sparring at Freestyle where there's, they've got a lot of good, uh, good Southpaw guys to, uh, very good at mimicking his style as well. So uh, it's been a great camp. We've got all the right looks, all the right uh, individuals. Just a couple quickly sort of on the outside of you, but give me your thoughts overall on the division. Where do you see, how do you see the division right now, the strength as it compares to maybe some of the other divisions? Do you still feel, or do you feel that the, the lightweight division is still one of the best divisions in the UFC in terms of the, the guys at the top of it? Yeah, I, I think it's one of the more stacked divisions for sure. Um, every division's hard. Every 
it's the fucking the top of the it's the top of the 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 fight world it's it's the best organization in the world but um i think that we've just got the most uh bodies i think i saw something the other day <clears throat> like lightweight have 92 rostered uh ufc fighters and i think the next nearest was 60 something so we, we've just got more uh more people in our division which is obviously going to make it harder and that uh that top 15 top 20 is just like tip for tat um everyone's so very very competitive so it's it's exciting and just one last one outside of yourself going back to the top of this division you know we've heard dana say that you know he thinks Oliveira should be the guy that's fighting next against islam but you got guys like gagey out there calling for it armin sarukin recently had a good performance he's calling for it who do you feel should deserve that shot next man that, that's not my call <laughs> I, I, I got no idea um I would have thought that Gagey would be the next guy, if I'm being honest, from that performance with uh, with Poirier. But man, they're, they're, it's like I said, it's tip for tat. Everyone's so uh, so close and so so uh, highly talented there. So it's a it's a good it's, it's an exciting division, man. And then lastly, back to yourself, you know, looking at Saturday, I'm sure you've envisioned the fight going multiple ways, but what are the, what are your keys to the victory? What needs to happen to make sure that you get your arm raised on Saturday? Yeah, I think uh, being aggressive is, is going to be the key here. Um, establishing the, the center of the cage and uh, fighting my fight. Uh, I, I want to finish. I won't be happy unless I get to finish this, this Saturday. So I, I see myself... Uh, Get my hand raised, uh, but it's going to be a fun fight, I think. I think it's going to be a fan-friendly one. Awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you.